We have a glass plate of thickness D from which the light beam is passing. The angle of incidence is 60 degree. So this angle of incidence is 60 degree. Find the value of deflection of the beam which passed through the plate. So let's say that finally when it passes through the plate, the beam is going like this. We need to find this deflection X. So why are these two parallel? So quickly let's derive that first. So on this surface, when the refraction occurs at the first surface by Snell's law, sine i is equal to mu sine r. And because the slabs are parallel to each other, these surfaces are parallel. So if this is r, this is also r. So again, we will use Snell's law. So mu sine r is equal to sine i. Let me write i dash. Yeah, mu sine r is equal to sine i dash. So from here, we can see i is equal to i dash or incoming and outgoing rays are parallel. So because they are parallel, we need to find what is this gap between them. So that is the deflection of the beam. So for that, we'll consider this path length. So let's say this path length is y. So what we need to do is we need to relate x and d so the common element between x and d you can see is y. So let's write y in terms of x and d and then eliminate y. So y is equal to d by cos r, which is also equal to x upon sine i minus r. So both are y. So now let's get rid of y and using these two, we get x is equal to sine i minus r by cos r into d. So we don't know R, so we'll just open this bracket and this will become this. Now we still have a term of sine R by cos R here. So to resolve that, we'll use this. So we can see sine R is sine I by mu. So sine R will write as sine I by mu and cos R will be root of one minus sine square R. We'll just simplify it and this be our answer. So this is X, the deflection by parallel glass plate slab.